What's up YouTube, your old school expert, and today I am opening a first edition Soul of the Duelist booster box. Um, this is a classic box that's technically from the original um, Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Uh, GX didn't start I think until the Lost Millennium, but I kind of group it in with the GX because um, this is when they uh, started, I think this is the first set where they started eliminating secret rares and then they introduced the ultimate rares. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I do not collect um, this uh, era very much. I pretty much cut my collection off nowadays at um, Ancient Sanctuary just because those were my favorite. Like that's really the original old school stuff to me. Uh, but this is still a really good set. Uh, it introduced some really nice cards like some level cards. Um, of course you got Horus, Black Flame Dragon, uh, level 8 as the cover card. Uh, it would be amazing to pull that. And uh, I believe back then they had two ultimates per box on average, so hopefully we get a couple of ultimates. And maybe we'll get one that's uh, kind of decent. So 24 packs, let's get it going. I'm definitely a fan of ultimate rares. I just wish they hadn't got rid of secret rares uh, at this time. We got a Mystic Swordsman level 2. That would be a nice ultimate rare. Oh, this is uh, Enraged Muka Muka. Pretty sweet. All right, in terms of commons, I don't really know the commons of this set very well. Level up, Arm Dragon, and uh, Rafflesia Seduction. This was actually the first ultimate rare I ever had was the ultimate version of this card. So that'd be kind of cool to pull the ultimate uh, version of that card. We got Nobleman Eater Bug. And a Spirit Barrier. Have a cool card. Oops. Heavy Slump. I always liked the artwork on that. Uh, Neo Aqua Midor. So they, they really brought back like a lot of um, old school stuff. Like Aqua Midor, Man Eater Bug, and Muka Muka. Made like newer upgraded versions of those cards. I wish they would do that a little more these days. But I know it's all about the archetype. So we got Ultimate Insect Level 1. That would be a cool Ultimate Rare also. Really, any ultimates would be pretty cool. They look really good, especially the older ones. We got Mind on Air. So no hollows yet. I really hope this isn't one of those boxes where there are no foils, because that does happen. Um, I don't think they're resealed. Oh, there we go. We got a Mobius the uh, Frost Monarch. And that is a super rare. Um, so yeah, it does happen where uh, some, it's, I think I've mostly seen it in the GX era, where uh, um, a whole box will be all rares. No foils at all. So that Mobius was cool. There's actually an ultimate Mobius that's really nice. So that'd be cool ultimate also. Cemetery Bomb and Horse Black Flame Dragon level four. So not doing too great. Oh, Mass Dragon, that's a decent one. Not doing too great on Hollows. We're, over halfway through the right side of the box, and uh, we only have one super. Uh, there should usually there's like just one ultra in these boxes. Charcoal and Pachi, but uh, I expect more supers. Usually four to five, so it'd be like two ultimates, four supers, and an ultra is about average, I'd say, from these uh, early um, sets. And we got our first ultimate. This is uh, Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. Awesome. That looks really nice. Um, not, I mean, not really worth anything, but it is a cool looking ultimate. Um, I think I actually call that an ultra. But yeah, it's an ultimate. So we got our first one. And still looking for more supers. Let's see. I'm glad we got a Mobius, though. It was really sweet. And there's a Hollow Life Bear. I remember this coming out and people were pretty stoked about it, but I always thought it wasn't that great of a card. It's pretty good against uh, Burn Decks. Um, but you pretty much would just side deck it because I think you discard one card from your hand then you take no effect damage for the rest of the turn. It's kind of like a lava coop, but for effect damage. Master of Oz, very cool card. Oh, I don't know why I put it with the foils. There we go. And last pack on the right side, which is usually the tougher side for me. I really like this sandwich card. It's uh, Witch of the Black Forest and Sangan. So they made Sandwich, pretty cool. We got a Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, so there's the rare version of it. 
Oh, Element Dragon, that's really cool. Very awesome artwork on that common. All right, left side, can we get something better? Um, and maybe some more supers, maybe an Ultra? Should be an Ultra. Another sandwich. We got Dark Mimic level three. A Prenumbra Soldier Lady, nice. That's the first ultimate I ever um, pulled from a pack. So the other, um, the Reflexia Seduction, I actually um, traded for that, but that was the first ultimate I ever had. And then the first ultimate I pulled was this, this card, and I was like, oh, that's not, because you know I play competitively, so I was a little bit disappointed with that one when I pulled it. It was just, I was happy to get an ultimate rare because they look really cool, but it's not a good card. And Ojama King, that would be an excellent ultimate. Um, being that it's a. Uh, I mean, Ojamas use it, and then of course. Uh, I know. Um, what's it called? Uh, goats can possibly use it. And Eneverating Mist. I don't remember this card. Your opponent's hand size limit becomes five. So that could have use maybe someday. Um. I guess they have to discard down if uh, they have five or more than five. That's interesting. I don't know. I would assume they'd have to discard if they had more than five. We got Arm Dragon level five. Very cool card. So the Arm Dragons are in here too, of course. So a lot of level stuff. Still looking for an Ultra and an Ultimate. Can we get them? We got a Greed. That is another super. So we got... I think we got our supers. Let's see. We might miss out on a second ultimate. Um, because it's just that we've started the box so so rough. There's like six rares in a row. We got a hammer shot. Hammer shot was used um when this set came out. It was pretty decent. So a lot of people were still using smashing ground, and hammer shot gave you a bit of an alternative to smashing ground. Mystic Swordsman level two again. All right, we got one, two, three, four packs left. That's it, only four packs. We've only got one ultimate and we haven't got an ultra rare yet. I'm pretty sure we'll get an ultra rare. Not 100% sure we'll get an um, ultimate. Oh, we did get an ultimate. It is Dark Mimic level three. So no no good ultimates out of this box. It's a little unfortunate, but um, ultimates, is, it's really hard to get the um, ultra rares as ultimate rares. That's why they are so expensive. Because they are pretty rare. So we can still get an ultimate rare, or ultra rare, sorry, ectoplasmer. We got a bunch of supers, so maybe we won't get an ultra rare. We got two packs left. Hoping for an ultra. An arm dragon or a Horus level eight would be really cool. We got a seduction again, ultimate baseball kid. All right, last pack. Can we get something good? Feeling it. Can we get an ultra? That'd be crazy if we uh, didn't get an ultra out of the box. It doesn't look like it's a foil. And it's a spirit barrier, so no ultra rare. Um, that's probably the first box of this era that I've opened that did not have an ultra. Um, that's kind of weird to me, but I think we got an extra super, maybe in, instead of an ultra, which is kind of too bad. It, it's, uh, I don't know, it's a little frustrating sometimes. Um, but, you know, pulls are unpredictable in these older packs. So we got a Super Rare Ectoplasm, a um, Dark Mimic Level 3. We got a, or that's uh, Dark Mimic Level 3 is an Ultimate Rare. Uh, we got a Greed, Prenumbral Soldier Lady, Hollow Life Barrier, uh, Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, and a Mobius Frost Monarch. And um, I just